All right, guys, we are back, and today we are going to be opening up this Spirit Halloween Monopoly game. This was sold in stores last season. I don't remember which store I bought it from. You can see there's a ton of awesome information on the back there. On the front, we have Jack the Reaper. In my opinion, that is a totally awesome design for the front of the box. The sides all have the Spirit and Monopoly logos on them, and the back has all the information about the game. I haven't even opened this yet. It's still wrapped in the original plastic, but let's read some of the stuff that's on the back. Monopoly Spirit Halloween Edition. Are you ready to invest in the scariest game of your life? Grab a group of your favorite zombies, monsters, and ghouls to roll the dice on making your fortune with Spirit Halloween. It's so much fun, it's scary. So we got a picture of the board here. We're going to pull that board out in a minute. We're going to look at all this stuff individually so that we can see all the awesome details. But we've got a picture of the board here. We've got a picture of all the money. Everything is Spirit Halloween themed. We have tricks and treat cards, which replace the traditional chance and community chest cards. Custom Spirit Halloween money, six collectible tokens, and I like what I'm seeing already. We've got the Secret Keeping Cat, the Spider, the Scarecrow Pumpkin, Jack Reaper, the Tombstone, and the Coffin. And by the looks of these, these are the regular pewter tokens that you get with most Monopoly games. This game was $39.99 at Spirit Halloween, and of course, if you have it, you can use a 20% off coupon in the store or online, providing it's available online. Now, I know that most stores I went into last year didn't even have this, and the ones I did only had one or two in stock, if any. So let's go ahead and get this opened up here and take a look at all the awesome contents. I love opening a new product, <laughs> ripping the plastic off. It's so fresh and clean. Let's go ahead and take the top off here. Nothing inside the box top. I was kind of hoping there would be some kind of art or design in there. So as you can see, we have, oh my gosh, a big pack of money right here. We're gonna open this up in just a minute. We have a big pack of the tricks and treat cards here. We're also gonna open those up. I actually love how it's wrapped in like this wax paper. That is pretty cool. We have the game board right here. We're gonna open that up in a minute as well. Here are the dice and the red houses, or the hotels these would be, and the green houses. I'll be honest with you, I kinda wish that these were like purple and maybe these were orange or something like that. More Halloween-y colors. Nonetheless, they're awesome. Those will be our haunted houses. And then right here is our little bag of pewter game pieces, the tokens. We're gonna open those up and look at those individually as well. Let's go ahead and put this box over here. You know what, first let's go ahead and open up the game board. So this folds in four so that it fits in the box good. Look at that, guys, holy crap, that is so cool right there. <laughs> the big Spirit Halloween Jack Reaper logo right in the middle. We got Monopoly on top. So much fun, it's scary. Our treat cards go right here. The tricks cards go right here. And then all around the edge of the board are things that are related to Spirit Halloween. Now it looks like the only things on the board that remain from the regular Monopoly game besides the logo would be the Go Square. Collect 200 as you pass go. We've got in jail, just visiting. Of course, we've got free parking and go to jail. The properties and everything else is Spirit Halloween related. So we've got decorations, weapons, tricks, masks, vacant toy store. Oh my gosh, I love that. Make a donation, Spirit of Children, adult costumes, treats, kids costumes, corporate office, make a donation, spirit of children, the flagship store, how cool is that? Tricks, vacant bookstore, website, treats, first spirit store, oh that's awesome, distribution center, Dr. J. Reaper Monster Lab from 2022, billboards, Halloween Factory 2021, Reaper's Island from 2020, Vacant Electronics Store, that would be a Best Buy, Reaper's Wharf 2019, Spirit Acre Farms 2018, Tricks Area 31 2017. Look at this, we got Crouchy here, we've got the Nightcrawler, we've got Treats, Mr. Howl, a Vacant Sports Store, Lil Skelly Bones, The Widow, 
Freight. Freight in the box. And that appears to be everything on the actual game board. And that is awesome. So let's go ahead and get down to opening some of these things. Now I'm going to leave these in the pack for the moment, but as you can see, we have the little houses and those are green. We have the dice and the red hotels. Let's go ahead and open the spirit money first. Now you can see already there's a whole wad of money there and you can tell through the packaging that it has the Monopoly and the Spirit Halloween logo right on the front. Let's go ahead and get this open because I want to take a closer look at this money. Yeah, look at that. We've got all the Monopoly money here and every single one of them has the Spirit logo right on the front. We've got fives, ones, tens, twenties, fifties, one hundreds, and five hundreds. How would you guys like to take this entire stack of money and go shopping at a Spirit Halloween store? Next, let's go ahead and open our tricks and treats cards here. And again, these are wrapped in like a wax paper. I think that's pretty cool. Kind of reminds me of the olden days when we were opening garbage pail kids out of the wax packs. So here we go. We got the stack of treats cards here. There's a whole bunch of them. And then we eventually get down to a stack of the tricks cards. And look at that. We've got a severed foot on the front of the tricks cards and a black secret keeping cat bucket on the front of the treats cards. Now if we turn these over, you can see that these are all the properties that we just looked at all the way around this game board. So we've got, just like we looked at on the board, the vacant bookstore, the vacant electronics store, the sports store, the toy store, look at that. Toys R Us, abandoned Toys R Us, just like from the Spirit Halloween movie. And if you guys remember, I actually went to that Toys R Us in Rome, Georgia, where they filmed the movie. That was a fun explore. Billboards, freight, all kinds of things. All these properties that we looked at around the entire board are in this stack right here. And that is what you buy from the bank. Taking a closer look at the tricks cards here, they say things like, Finish your home hunt early, advance to the corporate office. This one says, advance to vacant toy store. If you pass go, collect $200. And all these tricks cards are things like that. And when you play the game, they go right on that section right there. And let's take a look at some of these treats cards here. Zombie baby has a cold, pay $50. <laughs> You figured out the group costume before October 30th. Receive $100. You brought full-size candy to the trunk or treat. Collect $100. Oh my gosh, these are awesome, guys. I cannot wait to play this game. And those treat cards go right on that section there. Now, the moment you all have been waiting for, the awesome pewter tokens. Let's go ahead and get these open. Oh my gosh, these things are so cool right here. The secret keeping cat is having a problem standing up. Yeah, the secret keeping cat, I can't get him to stand up. He's like top heavy there or he's missing a leg or something. But here are the pewter tokens. Let's go ahead and take a look at the secret keeping cat first. Okay, to get him to stand up, I actually had to prop him up on the edge of this card here and take some pictures so you could see him better. But I have a picture of the front here and a picture of each side. You can see his tail there. You can also see the ribs and his backbone going down the back. This is a totally awesome token right here. I'm just gonna have to figure out a way to get him to stand up because I wanna play with this guy. Next, we have the coffin here. And look at that, that is pretty dang cool looking. I'll show you all the sides here and the back and the bottom and the top. That looks pretty cool itself. These are a little bit smaller than what I expected them to be, but they're still cool nonetheless. Next up we have the headstone. And this one is actually much more awesome than I expected. If you look close, you can see how it says rest in peace. RIP. It has the skull and crossbones. That is pretty awesome. And that one stands up on its own. Next up we have the jumping spider. Look at that. I don't know if he's actually the jumping spider, but we're going to call him the jumping spider because he's so awesome. I was able to really zoom in and get some awesome shots of each side and the back and in his face. This guy is awesome as well. Next up we're going to pull up 
the Scarecrow Pumpkin. This guy is pretty awesome looking as well. I was able to get a pretty good picture of his face when I zoomed in. I had to hold him up to the light. I got a good picture of the back. And I love his hat, how it's kind of jagged, just like a real Scarecrow. And last but not least, guys, Jack Reaper. This one was kind of difficult to get some good pictures of all the detail, but I did get a good picture of the front, the sides, and the back. And then when I held him up to the camera, I was able to get a good picture of his face for you guys. Jack Reaper. He is definitely one of the most awesome out of all of these little tokens here. He probably actually is the most awesome. Although I gotta say, I really like that tombstone. I love the secret keeping cat if he would just stand up. So there it is, guys. A complete look at the Spirit Halloween Monopoly game. Personally, I cannot wait to play this game. So many awesome elements they put in here. Like I said, the only thing that I would change is probably the color of the houses and the hotels. I would make them more like little haunted houses. Not really sure how you could do that. Maybe make the hotels brown or orange um, so that it was more of like a Halloween color. And the little houses, you know, they're green. That's a Halloween color, but maybe like a purple. I think that would be better. Or maybe even black. I don't know. You guys let me know down below in the comments what you would change about this game. If anything, let me know if you've bought it yourself and if you've played it and if you had fun doing it. Stay tuned because we have all kinds of awesome spirit Halloween stuff coming. I will see you guys in the next video. Let's play again.